All right, guys, I'm starting this new YouTube and I'm gonna be reviewing stuff, uh, whether it's from Amazon or I find something cool that I wanna show you guys. And today's that day. Don't mind the uh, barn right there. That's part of my son's Halloween costume. So I was in Vallarta Market, which is a Hispanic supermarket here in California. And I came across the coolest thing and I wanna show you guys before I try it myself. So you guys can actually see me try it live. But I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. So, Tapatio. It's a staple in every Mexican household. This thing, you can find it everywhere inside of a Mexican's house. And uh, I was ro roaming around looking through the uh, vegetable department and I found the coolest thing and I wanted to try it. Tapatio Michelada Mix. That I wanna try. So, I have a little setup here. I have the chamoy, which is gonna rim this glass I bought over there too. And I'm gonna rim it with some tahin right here. And we are using bohemia because I like that in my micheladas. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down, get all set up and everything so you see me mix it and everything. So let's check it out. So until my cell phone stand holder comes in, you'll be seeing me like this. Well, no big deal, I've seen worse on YouTube. So first off, got to cut the lime, got to add lime to it. You roll it first. So if you don't know, if you like lime in your beer, roll it first to help release the juices. I always cut mine in wedges, even though my wife hates it like that, but I like it because it fits down the bottle. Even though we're not gonna drink it out of the bottle, it's always a habit. So right there, boom, got my half right here. You cut it in half, get that little V right there. I like to pre-set everything up. Get the chamoy. Ooh, this is not even open yet. Get the chamoy right here. And put that on the rim. So the chamoy is really sugary. I like to put that a little underneath it. Bam. You hear my son in the background? Watch the TV. Put that chamoy on there. Now we dip it in the heat. So that's not where you stop right there either. So you have it rimmed. You got to roll it down the side a little bit too. So if you don't do that, then you won't get that full taste. So you go boom right here. Let it drip down. You'll see it better once I get that round. See how that down the sides. That'll settle a little bit more. A little bit more lime. I need to sharpen this knife. That goes in there, boom. So I usually add the beer after because I don't like too much tough deal mix. Check that out. Now we're gonna add the beer. All right, so I have about 12 ounces of beer and approximately four ounces of tapatio michelada mix. It's not too cold, it was out, you know, but the beer is cold. I could add ice, but I don't really like adding ice to my micheladas. When I go out and I'm at a restaurant, yeah, so that's the way they do it. So check that out. Put that right there. I'm gonna try it by itself though. That's good. That's bomb. That's really, really good. Um, if I relate it to anything, it is missing a little bit of pizzazz. It doesn't have the thick pepper, but the overall flavor is great. Uh, it's really tomatoey, so a lot of people that like it tomatoey will like it. But let me go ahead and try it like this and then see if I need to doctor it up. It's good. Um, scale one through 10. So I have a scale of one through 10. 
I give it a solid seven. Um, it's not the best I've had, but it's really good. Um, there's this place in Bakersfield we call Lamina, and I think they make the best micheladas. Uh, they do like their own mix. They prepare it and everything, and they put it back in the bottles and everything. But it's it's really good. And so this one, so the Lamina one, I'd give like an eight point five. And this one I'd give a solid seven. Uh, if you're looking for something quick, you don't want to buy just the Clamato by itself, uh, like we tend to do, and doctor it up yourself. Let's say if you just want to go out and party, I would say definitely grab this, some limes. I like the tahini on the rim, and definitely give it a shot because it's super bomb. And like I said, cheers guys. So I'm not gonna go do the pros and cons, 20 minute videos, no, that's not me. I always wanna give you a quick review, tell you if it's good or not, whether to get it. So there you go guys, subscribe, see you guys later.